Now, an enjoyable retirement is the dream of every Nigerian worker. But for some ex-military men, life after service has not been easy. Lara Folayo spoke with them on their alternative sources of income generation, apart from gratuities and pensions. On the 15th of January each year, Nigeria honors its military men who died in the line of duty. But as these heroes are remembered, their retired colleagues worry about post-service conditions of the military. A number of these old soldiers, as they're fondly called, once slept on the streets of Abuja, just outside the defense headquarters in protest of unpaid entitlements. Francis Ofodili retired from the Nigerian army 10 years ago. He says his gratuity was not fully paid and there are issues with his pensions to date. The administration, in conjunction with his partners in this course, NEPAS, intends to achieve the following targets of objectives in 2019 and to advance in a geometric progression of minimum 100% of the next five years. Empowerment, empowerment, that's 500,000 uh, vets to be empowered by NEPAS, 2,000 persons vets and other Nigerians support the widows, 3,000, 3, sorry, support the children, support to children, 3,000, support to super-aged, 2,000. Adegbo Iga is also an old soldier who laments the plight of ex-servicemen like him. I remember what it took me. I retired. My last unit was in Lukuja. I had to come up to Abuja, you know, to be running around the pension office uh, uh, here in, uh, in, in Abuja. By the time we finished, I'm not... It was a paltry sum of money that I, I got. Then a year or two into my retirement, I, I learned that in the Nigerian Army, the armed forces have been removed from the PFA. So the question now was, what happened? The money, my money with PFA, what, what, was, what has become of it? What I mean is that it's quite unfortunate and unbelievable. But a country like this, like Nigeria, um, uh, bearing in mind what a lot of people claim that the military is, they now find out a situation where people who dedicated their life, the impression they are creating is that uh, it's a wrong choice going to the army, going to serve in the military. Because as far as I'm concerned, I have peers who served in the bank, who went to school, served in the bank, some are in NMPC, some are in other corporate, even blue chips, blue chip companies and what have you. So the impression they are creating for some of us who volunteered our youth to serve our fatherland, pay the price, and uh, what they are telling us is that it's a wrong, it's a wrong choice that we made. You say, you say the retirees have medical cover. Is it medical cover that does not take care of broken limbs or those without limbs, those with impaired uh, hearing aid, uh, without uh, hearing aids, they can hear you and stuff like that. You go to NHIS, it's all about Panadol and what have you. Some are having psychological issues. The PTSD, nobody's talking about that. Those who fought in Liberia, Sierra Leone, Bakassi, and currently in the uh, Northeast. Nobody's talking about that. It's not about physical wound alone. There are, there are military families that, that are disjointed. The Nigerian Legion was established to cater for the welfare of retired military men. Among its objectives is to help ex-service men establish and run agro-based industries in any part of the Federation. The Legion believes it is achieving these goals through partnerships with the organized private sector and a national asset acquisition scheme, a scheme designed for economic empowerment of interested servicemen. 
I don't think the the Nigerian army has really lived up to expectation in terms of what is stated in the TACOS, that's the time and condition of service, and what you are expected to get as a pensioner of retirement. We're talking in terms of uh, a holy package welfare scheme that will take you beyond the service product into the post-service era, whereby you can at least live comfortably within the fabric of the society. These ex-military men do not agree with the Legion's claims and have chosen not to depend on it for empowerment. The cardinal trust of my administration in Nigerian Legions are to synthesize the synthesization of legionnaires to restore self-esteem and thereby regain social confidence to productively take control of their affair after service. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's only existing in name. And the members of the Legion are just selected few who are, who are privileged to be close to the, uh, to the power that be. Legion is, if Legion is really effective, you will feel it, you will feel the impact, you will be seeing retirees employed in the, in the, security, in the public security sector deployed over the, all over the country. But you don't say that. For me as a person, it's, it's just existing in a name. It's a name. Because every year, this period of Forces Remembrance Day, what you get, what you hear, both at the state and national level, is millions of naira being donated to religion. But the question is, how much or how far, what is the level of redeeming those pledges? Francis is now an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. while Adigbuiga works in a private firm. But not all retirees of the Nigerian military have been this lucky. These men now advise the authorities on how to ensure retired military men have better lives. So it's not enough to wait for every 15th January and be speaking to my grammar in a national arcade or various state capitals. No. There should be some deliberate laid down policies. The federal government should copy a template that is working in other crimes that can make the post-service period or years of retirees to be, uh, to, be to, to, to be highly improved on. And they will make those people who are looking at retirees who have served their country gallantly, those of them who are still growing, the youth, when they see them living in their post-service life, they, they, will, they will be envious of them, they will have that will, and that's what they want, they want to serve the country. They feel improved retirement welfare packages for the military by government will indeed make their sacrifice for national peace and security worth it. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.